Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, I'm playing Reese Series B as I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. This review has me wanting to go over there and bust out the old Sega Genesis. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering about for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today, folks? Well, it's probably got a few crumbs on from the last review, but it's boom! It is my the Union Underground shirt with the album cover artwork. Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with the band The Union Underground, it's pretty reasonable. They they never their band, uh, you know, kind of existed for a few years. You know, I think they kind of came out like the either very late '90s, very early 2000s. Uh, they put out one album, managed to gain, you know. Managed to gain some uh, some momentum and everything, but ultimately tapped out pretty early. Only ever put out the one album. Uh, but then, a few years ago, the lead singer started teasing that, you know, maybe this might be the return of the Union Underground. And sure enough, uh, just this year in 2024, they finally went on their first like full tour in over 20 years. Even though it was just the original lead singer and... A bunch of guys who are filling in, but you, you go with it, right? Because, you know, you take what you can get. Uh, I was fortunate enough, I got to be part of that. It was a really awesome experience getting to, like, you know, just sing those songs, uh, you know, being part of that and just having that, you know, these for this album that I had so much affection for. It was very cool. So much so, I also got some videos of their performance, which are also on this channel as well, just in case maybe you want to check it out. But anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? Why am I talking about old video game hardware? That's because I went out to, boom, IHOP. And this is a chicken sandwich from IHOP. Which, by the way, because it's a chicken sandwich, means it's going to end up on my Chicken Sandwich Wars playlist. Which is a playlist for just chicken sandwich stuff. This specifically, though, this is new off their menu because it turns out that for some reason, I don't know why, they have a Sonic the Hedgehog menu thing going on right now. So they have like a number of items. I just got through reviewing their Sonic's Blue Blur Blue Blur Blue Blur Special, and this is their Knuckles Chicken Sandwich because they had to come up with something for Knuckles. Uh, it consists of a crispy that yeah, crispy chicken sandwich. What the fuck is wrong with me? Crispy chicken sandwich, bacon, lettuce, tomato, avocado, cheese, buttermilk ranch, and according to the guy who. Uh, I got the order from. I am the first person to order this sandwich. So he's like, let us know how it is. And you can also order it Sonic style. And it comes with some onion rings. So. Let's. Ooh, okay. Oh boy, this is going to be harder than I want it to be. It's a long sandwich. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. It looks like this. <laughs> sure, man. Like, and then maybe like that. Ha, <laughs> that's a good one. And I went over there, bah, 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 bah. I saved, because I didn't finish it, I'm going to finish it eventually, but just not right now. This is from the Sonic's Blue Bur or Blue Blur Special, some pancakes, and then you got the so and then you got the Knuckles Chicken Sandwich, Sonic and Knuckles, the old school DLC, oh yeah. But let's go ahead and let's try out Chicken Sandwich. Hopefully it's good. Sounds good. Sounds like basically a chicken BLT with some avocado, but let's grab it. That's a good chicken sandwich. Yeah, that's legit. Chicken tastes good. And it's nice. It's juicy chicken. Definitely been cooked properly. Chicken's good. A little bit of a crispy crust. You know, not the crispiest, but doesn't need to be. 
Um, bacon is really nice. I mean, bacon's really nice in general, but uh, if you watch my reviews, you know, like, when it comes to, like, fast food bacon, mmm, I don't know if IHOP is exactly fast food, but it's also not exactly not fast food. But one of the nice things about, you know, getting a sandwich like this that has bacon on it from IHOP is, like, they're a breakfast place. So, of course, they're going to want to have some good bacon. And it shows. Like, the bacon is very tasty. The avocado is really nice. Um, yeah, man. Lettuce and tomato are really good. Yeah, man, I mean, fundamentally, it's a pretty simple sandwich, like I said. Basically, just a chicken sandwich BLT. Um, with some avocado and some ranch, to be fair. But, like, nothing on this is groundbreaking or, you know holy shit surprising as far as, like, flavor combinations go. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, as long as you're doing it well and everything is coming out properly, that's the most important thing. This is a very solid chicken sandwich. Uh, McDonald's used to have a chicken BLT sandwich back in them dark days. And I was a big, big fan of it. That was, like, one of my go-to items. So they got rid of it because they hate me for some reason. But, this definitely gives me vibes of that. And like I said, it's not it's not throwing me any curveballs. It's just a tasty chicken sandwich that's been well prepared. Chicken's good. If I had any critiques, I maybe would have gone over there, toasted the bun. I think that maybe would have gone over there kind of brought it up just an extra notch but the bacon's really good the veg is really fresh the avocado is really nice probably the weakest thing surprisingly is the uh buttermilk ranch it's there for sure it gives a little extra tang but <coughs> either i didn't get enough of it or it's just not oomphy enough against all the other flavors to really stand out but I don't hate that. Like, it almost acts more like a mayo in that ends, or in that instance. Because it's just kind of, you know, like I said, just give it a little extra tang. It's not trying to take over the whole thing. That's a good chicken sandwich. I like it. But, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Um, I'm going to go with sure and sure. I think, now here's the thing. As I mentioned with the, the pancakes for the Sonic stuff. Does this sandwich remind me of Knuckles at all? The super badass Echidna character who, despite the fact that I love Idris Elba, I was not big on... He, it wasn't his fault. I didn't like the way they portrayed Knuckles in the second movie. Like, to me, that was not who Knuckles is as a character. Like, he's not this oblivious idiot who... Like, yeah, he could still kick the shit out of you, but it's like, no, he was always, like, the character who was cooler than Sonic. That was, like, his whole kitsch when he showed up but I digress. Um, but no, I mean, it doesn't have dick all to do with, you know, with the Sonic or anything like that, but it is just a good, or it is just a good chicken sandwich. Like I said, it's a chicken BLT. I like chicken BLTs. They also offer, you can get crispy or you can gr get grilled. I almost thought about getting grilled because it's been a little bit since I've had a grilled chicken sandwich, but I wanted to go with it because that was like the namesake in the whole thing. I mean, despite the fact that it doesn't have anything to do with Knuckles or Sonic or anything, I would get this sandwich again. It's genuinely really tasty. It's a good chicken sandwich. It's not the best chicken sandwich I've ever had or anything, but it's proper. If I'm recommending it, by that same token, I mean, if you're buying it because you want the tie-in with the whole Sonic the Hedgehog thing, no, man, there's there's really nothing, nothing there for it. Um, but if you're doing it just because you want a tasty chicken sandwich, and it wasn't even that expensive. Like, it was, it was less than the pancakes were, believe it or not. I would, yeah, I would go for it, man. I think it's good. Anyway, five things before I get out, get out of here. Oh, and there are three other ones. There's one for Shadow the Hedgehog, one for Tails, and one for Dr. Eggman. At some point, maybe I'll get around to those. I would like to do the Dr. Eggman because it's an Eggs Benedict, and I love an Eggs Benedict. But we'll see. 
Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monumental rest of the month. Defenders rest of your folks. Go over there. Everybody sells a truly Sonic and Knuckles-tastic rest of your life. Because, man, if you don't know if you weren't around during that time or you just weren't into gaming, that was, like, such a huge deal when you were, when you went over there. You had Sonic 3, and, you know, you played it, and it was fun. And then they come in with, some, with the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge. Find the two, and it's just... Love it. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in those situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important that we go over there. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, I mentioned, you know, the Sonic the Hedgehog stuff in my previous review. And I talked about, hey, you know, do you have any Sonic the Hedgehog memories or anything like that? You know, things that maybe you grew up with? You know, who knows? I know for me personally, you know, so, like I said in that, you know, Sonic was a big deal for, um, what was it, for the, the Genesis slash Mega Drive. Then they dropped the ball on the Sega Saturn for some reason, which I, to this day doesn't make any goddamn sense. And then, you know, they brought it back on the Dreamcast. Do you have any experience with the Dreamcast? Dreamcast happens to be one of my favorite systems all time. I still love it. I still have my original. Plus, I have, I think, four others that I've picked up just at, like, you know, resale shops and stuff over the years when they were super cheap. I love the Dreamcast. It's a wonderful system. It's a wonderful, beautiful thing. Um, what's your favorite system if you play video games at all? Are you a PC gamer, console gamer, what have you? I'd love to hear about it. I do love old video game stuff, so anyway. Bye.